Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello and welcome to the video for what is the vislog location node. Let's run through our quick little example here. I have my character right here. We'll hit login. I'm gonna hit the one key to log a location. I'll move over here. We'll hit one again. Maybe we'll move over here. We'll hit one again and we'll stop. We'll end our logging and then we'll look through on our map what just happened. So as we scrub through, you'll notice I have a couple points. It says actor location here with a little green sphere. And then it says actor location here as we get to this point. Actor location here as we get to this point. And that is what our log, vislog location node does. So this is our vislog location node takes in a location, so somewhere in the world, where it's going to go ahead and put a sphere. Now, it's going to add text if you want text. It's completely optional. It's going to make it of a certain color. In this case, I made it a light green that you can see right here. There's a little green sphere. And there's our text actor location here. It's going to have a radius, so that's how round your sphere is going to be. Any special category you might want to put it in. In this case, actor locations. Which of course shows up on your vislog so I can enable or disable them easily for filtering purposes. And then a special development um, advanced section at the bottom. Oh, it opens up world context object. You can pretty much leave that alone. It's basically who owns this in the world. You can ignore it for our, our purposes. And then add to message log checkbox, which will add this text at the appropriate time inside of our message or our output log. And that's it. That is the basic of the vislog location node. It's useful for logging specific information, usually some text like something happened. I jumped, I ended. So for example, on our player character, I have the vislog location node to indicate where he's starting his jump and ending his jump. So you can use it for logging information, of course, wherever you want, or to maybe indicate an explosion was here. And you can use the radius if you want something like a circle instead of the other nodes like our square. And that's it. That is the vislog location node.